Good morning, and welcome to Stationary at 4. My name is Frank, and today I have to refill my Pilot Metropolitan Fountain Pen. I'll be doing it in a different way, I guess, typically, or different than your standard typical way of doing it. I'll be refilling the ink cartridge for a few different reasons. One, maybe two, maybe three. Let me see how many I can think of off the cuff of my head. Actually, I don't think that's saying off the cuff of my wrist, my hand. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me think of a few different reasons why I would want to do that and share that with you. The first reason is ink capacity. The Pilot Metropolitan Pen, when you buy it, the packaging comes with an ink cartridge. And I believe it's an IC100 offering from Pilot. Uh, and the IC100 has an ink capacity of one milliliter, a little bit more perhaps. So lots of ink in the ink cartridge itself. And the there is an option where you can buy a converter, a CON40 Pilot converter, and the converter itself only has a capacity of 0.4 milliliters, maybe a little bit more if you can squeeze that out of it, but 0.4 milliliters versus one milliliter of ink. And when I use the Pilot converter in my Pilot Metropolitan pen, I find myself having to refill my pen every day, every other day, uh, not every day, every other day or maybe every couple of days. Versus where I, when I use the ink cartridge, then I'm refilling that pen perhaps once every three weeks, once every four weeks. And a quick note, I love the Pilot Metropolitan pen and I'll perhaps do a review of it in the future if you're interested, let me know. It's a workhorse of a pen. I use it to take notes, to do, write out my to-do list. I use it at work, at home, for things around the house as well. So it gets a lot of use and I've got three or four of these pens kicking around. Reason number two is ink play, perhaps. I've got a bit of a growing fountain pen ink collection with different fascinating colors and I like to use them. Uh, and I like to use them within the pen itself. So using the ink cartridge, if I refill that, I can get uh, different colors that I can play with that are different from the offering, the standard offerings of the Pilot cartridges uh, uh, in terms of color and style of ink, in terms of sheenings and shimmerings and a lot of fun stuff as well. And let me see, is there a reason number three? Reason number three, sustainability. The idea, if, if you're sticking with only ink cartridges, that's fine. Uh, for me personally, I didn't want to keep chucking the ink cartridges in the recycling bin. For some reason, it didn't just quite click. So what I ended up doing was saving the ink cartridges and just refilling them. Um, they're great. Yeah, they're very durable little plastic tabs. And that's exactly what an ink cartridge is. It's just a, a plastic tube filled with ink. Is there a reason number four? No, so three reasons. Ink capacity, ink clay, and sustainability. The converter is great, don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, I think the biggest reason and the most uh, important reason for me again was ink capacity. Um, reason number one, and that's where I wanted to highlight why you would want to do something like refilling the ink cartridge that comes with Pilot Metropolitan. Okay. Now there's a couple things you'll need for refilling a Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen. You don't necessarily need the first thing I'm going to list, but that's just a, a, what do you call this thing? A ball squeegee flusher? <laughs> I don't have a technical term off the top of my head. Uh, I was just trying to remember that, but it's basically just an air, uh, air plunger or air pusher. And I just attached that at the uh, back of the fountain pen head just to get uh, all the existing ink out. So what you want to do, maybe let me take a step back, what you want to do is uh, when you're ready to refill your fountain pen, take it all apart, flush the fountain pen with some water, and to do that you would use the fountain ball, not fountain ball, the bell ball, ball squeegee thing, <laughs> and push out your existing ink. So run it on a little bit of water, uh, just to get the nib and the the feed wet and then use this to squish out the water through it and force out the existing ink and then just let that dry. If you've got an ink cartridge that uh, is mostly empty, there's a couple of things to note. The ink cartridge at the end of the ink cartridge, when you first get it, it has this little plastic tab and I'll see if I can show that to you here. 
What you want to do is when it empties out, obviously the cartridge will be mostly empty and that little plastic tab will be in there. And the trick to getting this out, you can do it a couple ways. So <clears throat> one way was to, for me, was to stick like a little chopstick or something inside of it and try and fish it out. Uh, very little success with that and it could get frustrating as it did for me. Or the other way is to just squeeze the tube in the direction if the, of orientation of the plastic tab. So find where it's horizontal and squeeze the tube to match that and the plastic tab when you turn it over should fall right out. And then what you want to do is give your ink cartridge a wash under some running water, let it soak in some in a bowl of water and let it dry out. And then you've got the first few things that you'll need, which is a dry fountain pen ink head and your ink cartridge ready to go. The second thing that you'll need is syringes. These are nothing fancy in my opinion, ink syringes or uh, syringes. It just needs a needle point, something that you can draw ink into and then squirt into the ink cartridge. Now I bought these off of Amazon and I can put a link in the description below. I think for 10 to $13 if I remember correctly, it's been a while. And they're great. It comes in a five pack and quite honestly, I've only used one or two of the five pack just because I use it and I clean it out and I reuse it. And the thing about the ink syringe is they're great. You can completely take them apart. They uh, come apart into all the other little pieces and then you can uh, clean them out very sternly so you get all the little bits of dry ink out or any residual ink and put it back together and you're good to go. So that's what you'll need, effectively the fountain ball thingy. It's a squisher, air plunger, air squisher. I really should figure out the technical term. I'll put that in the description below once I've uh, had a chance to look that up and I can't seem to remember off the top of my head. And the second thing here are the syringes. Those are the only two things, two things you'll need. Sorry, there is a third thing, ink. Fountain pen ink that you want to refill your ink cartridge with. And one more thing, perhaps a Kleenex or perhaps a paper towel or something just because it may get messy and you just want to also give the nib a swap at the end just to get the ink flowing again. So let's jump over to the desk. Let's take a look at how I refill the ink and perhaps this is something you'll consider for the future. Pilot Metro with a golden honey from Dimene. Which is a nice, beautiful yellow ink, just in case anybody was ever curious about the yellow inks. This is my own ink swatch for that, and I think it just looks uh, rich and yellow. Anyhow, it's not what we're here today, we're just talking about filling this guy. The ink cartridge. So we're going to go through this step by step. And first, as I mentioned, you just want to flush out any of the, so this little guy here, you just kind of tack into the back and you just give it a couple of squeezes and that should get any residual water out of there. And here's the syringe. We're going to fill this up with the ink and put that into ink cartridge. So let's start with the ink filling. Just gonna open this guy up. And what you want to do, this is just show this a plunging activation syringe. It's a fancy way of saying it's basically just sucking up the ink into this compartment over here. So we'll go ahead and do that. What you want to do is just kind of depress it, just get some of the air out, stick your ink in, or your needle in, and let go. And there you go. You can see that we've gotten some ink into our syringe. So we'll move that off to the side. Grab our ink cartridge here. And 
Let's see if I can get a good angle on this. We're just going to stick that needle in and depress. You might have to do this a couple times to get the full ink capacity inside. And just want to keep this upright because the ink will fall out if you flip it over. So we'll grab some more of that ink. In nice and full. Just about to the top there. Do this very carefully so I don't make a mess. Voila. And you can see we've got a very full ink cartridge. If you compare that with the converter, the converter, I just put that out of the way for a second. You're only filling up this much of the ink. Compare that to this guy, and I'm not going to tip it over completely now. I'd be able to see. So I've got my own ink in here. Everything is good. Now we just need to take our nib. Effectively, all you're going to do is you're going to friction fit the ink cartridge onto the nib, just like that. Let's push it down. I like to give it a little bit of a twist. There you go. You've got cartridge refill attached to your Pilot Metro. For effect, I'll just go ahead and screw on the back here. Now, don't expect this to write right away. Okay. What I like to do is just give it a little bit of a shake. And I use a napkin just to draw out the ink nib, ink into the nib, into the feed. There you go, filling that capillary there and voila we have the pilot metro and you've got one liter of ink capacity in your pilot pen i hope that was helpful and if you like what you saw in this video please consider clicking on the subscribe button below Thank you very much for joining me today and refilling my pen. Take care, have a wonderful day, hope to see you soon. Bye for now.